and welcome to ET Garage. Today's video is going to be a review of a Walmart uh, cordless ratchet. Okay, like I was saying, today's video is going to be about a uh, Walmart uh, extended reach ratchet cordless. I'm going to go over some of the uh, finer points of it and my experience with it so far. So uh, let me move the camera around. We'll get a closer look at it. Okay, here we are. We have a uh, hyper tough 12 volt max cordless extended reach ratchet. Four inch extended neck, variable speed trigger, LED work light, battery indicator. And uh, it has some specifications here. It has what's included 12 volt max cordless extended reach ratchet, one each. One each 12 volt max, 1.5 amp lithium ion battery pack. Two sockets, 10 millimeter standard and deep. And one three to five hour charger. Reader voltage is 12 volt max. Uh, no load speed is 0 to 210 RPM. Drive size 3 eighths. Max torque is 400 inch pounds or 45 Newton meters. Product weight is 2.65 pounds or 1.2 kilograms um this is actually a pretty good ratchet my uh old cordless ratchet which i've had forever which is a harbor freight one that uh, i've had that forever and, and it's starting to go um you press the switch and nothing happens so i decided to shop for another one i was going to go get the uh hercules one from harbor freight and that's like 119 bucks without a battery or a charger and i thought about the milwaukee one which is i think i think the lowest price i've seen on the extended reach one it is like 186 bucks without a battery or charger and then i said let me look at the ones at walmart and uh they have them for they're just under 60 bucks and that includes a charger and a battery and two 10 millimeter sockets which i don't really care about because i have plenty of 10 millimeter sockets but uh, they are the most popular used sockets these days. Actually seem pretty decent quality for, you know, considering what you're getting. And, uh, I have to say this is built pretty decent. The, uh, gear part of it, you can tell is a little bit on the rough side. I'm not sure how long this will last, but it does say it comes with a two-year, two-year limited warranty. So, uh... Not sure how good that warranty is. Um, now it does say that it comes with the instructions. I think I already misplaced the instructions. I think I put them in my burn barrel. But the, basically it says it takes, when you first get it, the charge just five to eight hours to fully charge the battery. That's not true. I think it took a couple of hours to fully charge the battery. Um, I forgot to charge this last night, so it's not fully charged now. But uh, for what we're going to use it for, demonstration purposes, uh, it's fine. I did use this uh, several times. I used this yesterday to change the spark plugs on the vet. And with this extended reach, it made it super easy. Well, a lot easier than with a regular ratchet or a uh, non-extended cordless ratchet. Before I bought cordless tools, I was I always use my ear tools. I actually like my ear ratchets and stuff. Of course, the hose is a pain in the butt, but I just like the noise they make. Um, what's nice about this is it has this locking feature, so you can't accidentally engage it, and then you got to unlock it. And the gear mechanism to me sounds a little rough, but it ain't nothing bad. Certainly quieter than an air ratchet. Um, battery life seems pretty good i did uh i was able because of the extended reach i was able to do uh oh eight plugs on the corvette pretty fastest i ever done it i didn't time it but it was pretty quick and on a c4 corvette uh, i mean who's done it knows what that can be a pain uh a lot of people don't use or recommend using a power any type of power ratchet when changing spark plugs but that's something you have to decide yourself. Uh, there's nothing, absolutely in my mind, nothing 
wrong removing the spark plugs, whether you use a regular ratchet or a power ratchet. Putting the spark plugs in is where people make mistakes. They uh, cross thread them. The trick to that is screw the spark plug in at least six turns by hand and then finish turning it in with the power ratchet or any ratchet for that matter. Um, once this is charged, unless you fully drain the battery, um, it charges pretty quick, I think. I didn't time it, but it's it's not bad. This battery is not going to last as long as, say, the uh, Hercules battery, in my opinion. But for what I use it for, for someone like me, you know, if I was a full-time mechanic, I would invest, it, obviously invest in the better ratchets like from milwaukee or even snap on or whoever makes them the better name ones uh but for someone a, a diy person at home like me this is great and it's affordable and hopefully it lasts now i haven't had like i said i haven't had experience of old day using it uh, i think i did those eight spark plugs in about 20 minutes with this so that was pretty good that, that included removing uh the one uh brace rear uh, brace that goes from the exhaust manifold to the uh ac back of the ac pump and on my car because i have an air oil separated on the driver's side i had to remove that out of the way too so that was pretty quick that included me also lubing all the uh spark plug boots with silicone grease so that was uh, pretty quick. I thought that'd be the fastest I ever changed uh, eight spark plugs on anything. And it's all because this extended reach gets into real tight spots and uh, makes it just so much easier. So that, I mean, that doesn't apply to this hyper tough one from Walmart. That uh, applies to any manufacturer that makes a extended reach. Even if I got an extended reach air ratchet, it would have made it a lot easier. So uh, hopefully this turn holds up. One thing I have to stress about something like this, you'll hear people on the forums and whatnot complain they can't break a nut loose with it, you know, just by engaging the motor. That's not what this is designed for. This isn't an impact. You're supposed to either break it loose with a regular ratchet or break it loose like that. But, uh, this isn't designed to break it loose with the motor. This is designed to speed things up. So you don't sit there and go like that with a ratchet. Instead, you just press the button and it loses it right off. And it does it pretty quick, too. In fact, uh, let me turn this camera around and I'll, I'll demonstrate it. Uh, no, I'm gonna dem not going to demonstrate its torque, what the torque rating is or anything like that, just the speed. So hold on a second. All right, here, I'll demonstrate its speed. Here's a... Uh, that's pretty quick. Yeah, and that actually... Pretty good torque. Now, I don't doubt that's going to break it loose the way I just torqued it on there. I have no idea what I torqued it to, but it was... Uh, ET Garage foot-pounds. Yeah, so it won't break that loose. It's not designed to. You don't have to break it loose. And this applies pretty much to any brand you use. You're not supposed to use this as a torque wrench. Keep fully mine. I forgot to charge the battery, so it's down about halfway already. But uh, I'm not sure how long I used it yesterday. Like I said, 20 minutes to do those eight spark plugs. I don't think I did anything else with it. The battery sat out in a cold garage all night. But uh, that's going to be the one weakness of this is the uh, this battery probably isn't going to hold a charge long. I'm not sure if you can get extra batteries for this. I'm going to have to look into that. If I do, I'll post it up here. If you can or not. But there it is. Um, 
I'd say the only weakness will probably be this uh, battery, how long a charge it holds. It probably doesn't have enough uh, amp hours for all day use. You have to have multiple batteries. And um, yeah, I guess that's about it. That's my review of it. How long it holds up and how well it does in the future. I don't know, just check back on my videos or you can subscribe or all that stuff. But uh, I always like power tools. For the price, for a homeowner who only uses this occasionally, I think this is a great, great deal. Uh, about the only negative thing, I, like I said, the only negative thing would be the, uh, I don't think the battery will hold a charge for like all day working. And shopping at Walmart. <laughs> yeah. I like shopping at Walmart online. Going to the store, I don't necessarily like. Like when I bought this, it's in a case. So you got to hit that button or search down a uh, Walmart uh, associate and have them unlock it for you. And then unless you're going directly up to the uh, cashier, they won't let you take it. You have to, they have to, they bring it up to the cashier and then you have to go up there and get it after you're done your shopping. I felt like I was being treated like a criminal. That's, I don't know. But uh, can't say I blame Walmart for being that that way because of all the theft problems they had. But I'm not a thief, so I don't like being treated like that. Uh, one of the reasons why I don't shop there that much. If I were to buy this again, I would definitely do it online. And I'm if I can get a spare battery, like I said, I'd... I'll let you guys know, and up here somewhere, I'll order those online. I'll order at least one spare battery online. And uh, that's about it, I guess. Uh, I know everybody wants to see what's going on with the vet. Hopefully, I'll have that running up. Uh, I'll have what I need tomorrow. And by tomorrow, I'll probably be tomorrow afternoon. I can work on it, and I probably will work on it a little bit today. I just got to work on the tune on that and uh, get the tune finalized on that. Uh, when it was a tune port, all my tuning experience with the tune port, and that I had it running excellent after years of tuning it myself. Now this tune is totally different because of the intake manifold. For anyone who hasn't, hasn't been watching that, I'll leave a you know link up here to the playlist and all that. But I guess that's it. Um... Hopefully I got 10 minutes out of this video. And I hope it was informative for you guys. And everybody have a great day. And God bless.